Multiple rounds of strong thunderstorms move through southern and central West Virginia during the day and evening on Thursday, producing catastrophic flooding. What meteorologists and hydrologists are now calling the worst flooding in over 100 years. Just to get a scope of the significant flooding, we hit over to Richwood, West Virginia, where water was up to two and even three feet tall on the sides of area businesses and homes. This flooding was significant enough area-wide for a state of emergency to be issued for 44 counties. The famous Greenbrier Resort is set to host a PGA Tour event in just over a week, but it looks unrecognizable with such significant water. Local resident Amanda Carper captures this burning house floating down the Howard Creek in White Sulphur Springs in Greenbrier County. All the flooding led to power lines coming down on infrastructure. Radar estimates between 6 and 10 inches were measured in spots across West Virginia after training thunderstorms moved through just one round after another. There's about four in total. How about 6.58 inches in Clenendenin? Runa picking up over 7 inches of rain, Guardian picking up 4.24 inches, and Elkins officially registered about 2.10 inches. So significant flooding is not a surprise from these rain totals. With the surging water, it's no wonder that several water rescues have been completed. The National Guard has been helping out. Unfortunately, over 20 people have lost their lives in the flooding with millions of dollars in damages. For NeoWeather, I'm Brian Ivey.